Osgo and Stan from what, what channel? So do I don't even have a name yet. We'll just call it Stan's channel for now. The name's for another day and another another video. But uh, what I want to do today is I just wanted to go over what my lovely wife, or as Chad likes to call them, our sponsors, <laughs> what she did to help me make the jump from spinning over to bait casting, which is something I wanted to do for a while, and we ended up getting a pretty good deal, and that's what made me go ahead and do the jump. So, first of all, the tool I'm going to need for this video is the good old country boy all-purpose tool, an old timer pocket knife. And what we're going to do first, I'm just going to unbox this box of terminal tackle, which basically ended up being for free. We uh, Bass Pro Shops was doing $50 free shipping, and the rod that we got was 40 bucks. So rather than paying the price of shipping, I ended up getting all this terminal tackle for free. So get it popped open. Most of this is just your standard slides from Cat Max. And some beads for protection. And then some three ounce no roll sinkers. So, and of course, with new reel, what's the next thing you're going to need? You're going to need new line. So, with this I just went with my standard and what a lot of people use it's really really decent line for a cheap price it's I don't know if y'all can see that good or not trilene big game I always get it in the solar collector color because it just it makes it so much easier to see at night now I use mono because I fish mostly rivers mono is going to give you a much better abrasion control uh, so if you're fishing in conditions where there's a lot of uh, rocks and uh, various debris, you get, where you're just going to rub your line a lot. That's why I recommend mono. And as everybody knows, James got some pretty big fish in it. So I always go with 40-pound test. Now, here we go. What I have been waiting for. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty sure you can see it. See how this original box is damaged? Just right here. Looking, looking online, checking through some things, and I was looking, the average price for this reel was around 50 bucks or so. And I happened to click on Amazon, and it said new from 25 bucks. Well, what happened was, because of the original package being damaged, I basically got the reel for half price. So there we go. It's the Akuma CLX 450LA. Pretty decent. Bait clicker. Thing I'm noticing right away it's a pretty decent sized reel when it's uh, it's very light so there we go now this is uh, the setup that I'm going to be using in a lot of my upcoming videos, so I'll have a better review on that after I've used it a few times and we've caught some fish on it. Now to top it all off, we have, I went with a 8 foot ugly stick. Catfish rod. I'm a big fan of uh, ugly stick because my father was a big fan of ugly stick, so it just kind of 
been a rod that we've always used and I've never had any issues with them. Except for taking the plastic off of them. But again, it's your standard issue ugly stick. Again, I fish a lot of, uh, do a lot of bank fishing on the James, and there tends to be a lot of trees and whatnot. So I went with eight foot because it still gives you a pretty good length of rod, but with the trees and stuff, it makes it where you can still cast under the trees. So it's uh, eight foot medium heavy. Go. So, pretty excited about this. Just pop this on here real quick so we can see what we're working with. And there we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. So basically, real we got for under thirty bucks with uh, shipping and tax and everything. Rod was 40. Like I said, all this over here, terminal tackle, basically was free because it was basically what the cost of shipping would have been. So rod reel and some terminal tackle all for under 80 bucks. Add another six, six bucks for line and uh, I'm ready to pull in some big ones out of the James. So I uh, thank you all for watching the video today. If you have any questions, comments, please put them down below. Uh, be looking for some more videos coming out soon where we're actually fishing. And uh, I really do appreciate you all watching. And I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.